High end fashion brand Balenciaga is apologizing after running an ad, an ad campaign featuring children holding a stuffed bear, stuffed animal. But the stuffed animal purses are outfitted with bondage gear. I just, but why? But why? How about you just make a good product and don't mess around with weird ad campaigns like this. People don't like that, just don't like it. And I hate that it provides fodder for right wingers who already think that everyone's sexualizing the kids. Shot by photographer Gabriel Galimberti. Do you know him, John? <laughs> Do you think I'm gonna know any of the nouns or proper nouns in this story? I mean, he sounds Italian. I'm just saying, you know, he's your brother. <laughs> All right, let's move on. Let's move on. Uh, this is a serious story. Uh, so, images linked to the Balenciaga gift shop campaign featured these young children dressed in uh, the Balenciaga kid line. I feel like I'm pronouncing Balenciaga wrong, whatever. According to the original press release issued last week, the campaign iterates on the artist series Toy Stories. Uh, an exploration of what people collect and receive as gifts. The company said that the line featured dozens of new products ranging from homeware, petware, and scent. From everyday items to limited edition collectibles and bespoke furniture, we need to tax the rich. Mm -hmm. But the ad release also got negative reactions with people accusing the company of or the brand of sexualizing children. So the stuffed bears appear to be accessorized with bondage and BDSM gear such as studded leather harnesses and collars with locks. So we've got examples and look, I don't think the kid on one hand in terms of like what the kid understands, I highly doubt these adorable kids realize that they're holding a bear that's dressed in bondage. Mm -hmm. But I I see the point about like this is not good. Like having kids in an image that features bondage accessories is not a good idea. Like I just I don't I don't like it. Yeah. Um and I can see why people would have a problem with it. I have a problem with it. Uh but I don't know. Maybe maybe I'm being a prude here, John. What do you think? Uh I think Nothing that this company has done has ever mattered to me at this Same. moment and nothing they do in the future. It's convenient to the right to be able to point to this and say that this is sexualizing of kids and we should be worried about it to advance their political agenda. When of course they've had no issue with Donald Trump you know, salivating over little kids his whole life or whatever or the stuff that he had to say about Ghislaine Maxwell. Like Again, very convenient. Um, I don't care what high fashion com companies do. They are to me among the most irrelevant companies in literally any area of human existence. They can do whatever they want. They're weirdos, all their ad campaigns are weird. Is this really any weirder than the others? Uh, but I will say just to get to give the right more to get mad about. Uh, I, I have no interest in the kids having the bondage bear. It looks weird and the kids honestly don't even seem to be enjoying the toys in the ad. <laughs> That's uh, true. So <laughs> they seem bored with it honestly. and. They appear to understand s and culture as little as most people do. But but also, like, can we point out that as weird as it is to have them holding that, like we have little kids play with soldiers constantly. We fetishize people whose entire job is murder. They're fine with that. Also, by the way, tons of dolls and toys are dressed up in ways that are supposed to be conventionally attractive mm -hmm. and are sexualized. So mm -hmm. this particular mm -hmm. subculture's like stuff that's supposed to be attractive is weird, but like like the John, a short you skirt it. and high heels is it isn't weird it. like what just because this doesn't turn you on it's worse i remember I when the right wing including but not limited to tucker carlson you're going to say simultaneously had a meltdown because the sexy green m&m was being stripped of her gogo -go boots and yeah. they were being replaced with less sexualized sneakers like sporty no, sneakers Anna. Tucker Carlson just had the same request as Kanye West. Give me a candy I can F. <laughs> That's all he wanted. No, but it's so true. It's so true. And you know, as you were making your excellent point, I couldn't help but think about the toys I played with when I was growing up. I mean, I loved Barbies, 
Barbie is hyper, I mean, especially in that era. Yeah. Barbies were hypersexualized. Yeah. Super sexualized. Like, I mean, they're trying to be a little better. I was, you know, at a store the other day and I noticed, Bar, you know, Barbies on the shelf and I noticed that their body type is a little more, still not realistic, but getting a little bit closer to realistic. But they're, they, the dolls are still, anyway. Yeah. Anyway, I want to finish up the story though, because there are some more details here that I think are worth talking about. So the photographer insists that he is not to blame. He said he had no influence over the products and models, which by the way, I believe the photographer. A photographer has no control over the products that are being sold by Balenciaga. And he also has no control over what their ad campaign is. He says, but he has issues with some of the criticism. He says, I suspect that any person prone to pedophilia searches on the web and has unfortunately a too easy a too easy access to images completely different than mine, absolutely explicit in their awful content. Lynching like these are addressed against wrong targets and distract from the real problem, the criminals. Uh, so he's Italian, calm down, John, okay, calm down. So a little bit of broken English there, but we get what he's trying to say there. And I think he makes a decent point. I mean- For an Italian, yeah, decent. <laughs> Shots <Jesus>. fired <laughs> on your brother. Um, still Balenciaga apologized on Instagram saying, we sincerely apologize for any offense or holiday. It's our holiday campaign, John. That's why- It's holiday, holiday campaign. Which holiday? Are they trolling right wingers? I feel like this is just trolling them at this point. They decided to make this their holiday campaign. It's amazing. Our plush bear bags should not have been featured with children in this campaign. We have immediately removed the campaign from all platforms. You guys are so full of crap. What really? Bears? Who are, who are you blaming exactly? You guys have complete control over the campaign. What do you mean? It wasn't your intent to have children modeling the bags, what? And by the way, okay, I, I doubt that anyone who needs to hear this message is watching the show, but I'm gonna say it anyway. Rich women who might be tempted to buy these god awful bags. What's wrong with you, grow up? <laughs> really, you're gonna buy a stuffed bear in bondage as your purse? It's stupid, it's stupid, that's it, it's stupid. The bag is stupid. Tax the rich. It's so stupid. What? Why do rich people have the worst sense of style? I want to know. Like Yeezys, those shoes are god awful. They're so ugly. And people will fight physically to get their hands on it. I don't know if that's still the case, but I was like, really? You guys like those Spice Girl platform sneakers? That's what you're into now? All right, have at it. Enjoy. Yeah, I don't. Again, the rich are generally terrible. Not all of them, as people have pointed out, Dolly Parton is rich. She's done a lot of good. There are some good rich people, but generally they're at least suspect, if not actively making everything worse. Another aspect of the advertisement featured an image of Balenciaga's handbag laid atop a stack of documents. A close examination reveals the documents refer to a Supreme Court ruling that upheld a law that criminalizes child sexual abuse images. They later apologized for that too and said- An accident that they would be taking legal action. We apologize for displaying unsettling documents in our campaign. We don't know who did it. I mean, we have complete control over our ad campaigns. They didn't write that, but nonetheless, let me continue. We take this matter very seriously and are taking legal action against the parties responsible for creating the set and including unapproved items for our spring 23 campaign photo shoot. We strongly condemn abuse of children in any form we stand for children's safety and well-being. Okay. Um, I, look, trying to throw other people under the bus for bad decisions that you guys made is pathetic. It's very uh, reminiscent of Jimmy Dore uh, blaming the fact that he's lazy and stupid and doesn't bother reading a damn thing uh, for the misleading garbage that he spews on his show. When he got caught, he blamed a producer and said he was gonna fire the producer right away. That's what this whole Balenciaga blame game reminds me of. Uh, own up to your mistakes, it was a bad ad campaign idea. Accept responsibility and move on. Thanks for watching The Young Turks, really appreciate it. Another way to show support is through YouTube memberships. 
you'll get to interact with us more. There's live chat emojis, badges. You've got emojis of me, Anna, John, JR. So those are super fun. But you also get playback of our exclusive member only shows and specials right after they air. So all that, all you gotta do is click that join button right underneath the video. Thank you.